Yeah, let's give him a call. Who do you want to call? I want to call Michael Fox. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, my thinking probably is is Africa. I'm not sure of that. Let's give it a shot. Let's go with Mike Fox's uh, Africa. Yeah. Well, what do you know? Michael J. Fox is right for sixty-four thousand dollars. The winner is John Lovett. Everybody. Good evening and welcome to Wednesday night, our third night of Celebrity Millionaire. And so far, we've helped out some terrific charities, but we're still hoping to give a million dollars to one of them. And maybe John Lovitz, the master thespian, the president of the Pathological Liars Anonymous, Tommy Flanagan, maybe he'll be the man to do it. How are you, John? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Or maybe it'll be one of our other celebrities who are still waiting for their turn on the hot seat, the beautiful Joy Behar, former New York City school teacher. You know? Yes, Joy Behar, you taught our children. I did, but it was a very restricted subject. English. <laughs> Puffy, how you feeling? I'm all right. How feeling you doing? strong? Real strong. You ready to come up here and uh, tell us? Yeah, I'm gonna get up there one day. <laughs> <laughs> Tyra Banks is discouraging. Can't feel that way. I did a lot of bragging before I got here. I was like, I'm gonna be the first up. I got fast fingers. I'm quick. And then I had a cold, and I, I'm I'm feeling much better today. So That's I'm ready. That's good. And look who's there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look who's there, Norm himself. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and there's no idea where he is, but he's right there. <laughs> Always good to see you, Norm. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, I have a little trouble because I know there's like 15 questions. I only know like 10, 12 things. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> You're like a fox, how beautiful you look. Yeah? Thank you, Regis. Yeah. And, and how do you smashing feel? Smashing yourself, too. Yeah, you feel pretty good, pretty good today? Yes, I do. I'm ready to go today. All right, good. I think everybody's in good spirits. Except maybe for you. <laughs> <laughs> so John Lovitz is here from Tarzana, California. Has in his uh, friend seat there, you, you brought along uh, Miko uh, Brando. Miko, nice to have you here. Thank you, man. Nice to be here. And how well do you know Mr. Lovitz? 18 years. 18 years together. Friends from school or something? No, I was working at a clothing store after college. A friend of mine, Rick Pallack, had a store in Sherman Oaks sure. in the Valley. And uh, the cashier had a... There, the a girl had a boyfriend, which was Miko, and we, that's how we met. Uh huh. So, yeah, Good. I didn't know you sold men's clothes. You did a lot well, of Well, I didn't really sell them. I kind of folded shirts a lot. You folded shirts, right. <laughs> and you graduated from Harvard. <coughs> yes, I did. With Harvard the... High School. Oh, Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> Actually graduated uh, from the University of California at Irvine? Yes, yes, I did. I was a. Dramatic major. Were well, you really? Yes. Yeah. Well, it shows every now and then. You know? Yes, it comes out sometimes. Sorry, fine. Welcome this opportunity to be myself. <laughs> I... <laughs> I love when you lapse into Shakespeare in all of them, in all of your grandeur. All right, John, you've won three hundred dollars. Ready to continue here? You're just twelve questions away from winning one million dollars for your charity. You've all of your three lifelines left to help. Fifty-fifty. Ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. So, if you are ready to play along with John at home there, go to abc.com right now and click on to our Enhanced TV game. I think you'll enjoy it. <coughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's ready, don't you? <laughs> Studio audience, are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Let's play. He wants to be a millionaire. Here we go. For $500. A director's chair normally has a back and seat made out of what material? Iron, canvas, wicker, wood. B, canvas, B, canvas. Canvas, right answer for John Lovett. $500, John. He's going for 1000 You want to borrow some? <laughs> Not yet. The title of a 1988 Billy Ocean song requests gets out of, get out of my dreams, get into my what? House, heart. World, car, the old Billy Ocean hit. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> do you hear anything at all? <laughs> uh, I don't need help. I'm gonna say uh, 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 
D card. Yes, it's the right answer. Would you believe that? Thank you very, very much, Vivica yes. Fox, sir. Okay. I thought He's, I heard a car. I thought what I heard a, a car. Could you believe it? Car sounds. <laughs> Ten questions away from a million. Here it comes for 2,000. Before joining the cast of Judging Amy, actress Tyne Daly starred in which of these TV series? Cagney and Lacey, Kate and Allie, Hill Street Blues, St. Elsewhere. Uh, hey, Cagney and Lacey. Final? Yes. Right for $2,000. Here it is for four thousand dollars. What author created the hard-boiled detective Mike Hammer? Tom Clancy, Mickey Spillane, Ian Fleming, Robert Ludlum. Me, Mickey Spillane. I. Final answer. <laughs> yes. Yes, Mickey Spillane created Mike Hammer. Did you know that? Yes. Really? Yeah. I think most everybody did, except maybe Norm. <laughs> We're up to $8,000. Check it out, John. What historical American document begins, We the People? Gettysburg Address, Bill of Rights, Common Sense, U.S. Constitution. Uh, D, the Constitution. Wait. Yeah, D. Yeah, D, yeah, D the Constitution. Final answer? Yeah. Yes. Right, this $8,000. We're going to take a break. When we get back, John Levitz is going for $16,000. John Levitz doing quite well, going for $16,000 and playing for Hollygrove. We. We mentioned that the other night, didn't we? It's a charity out there in Hollywood? Yeah, it's, a, it's an orphanage for abused and neglected children. Now, how did you hear about it? Uh, well, my uh, manager, uh, uh, Mark Gerwitz, got involved with it, and, mm -hmm. uh, and he asked me to participate. And it's kids that are, maybe they're up to, I don't know, 12. It's, it's you know, they're just little kids. And they sure. Have, <clears throat> and they take them out of homes where there's, they're being abused really, you know, physically or drugs sure. bad. And, and then that's why Dana Carvey and I have the same... Uh, I remember Dana, so Dana, Dana went for that one as well. Too. But Mico, just so you know... Yeah. Is there something you're chewing that we should Did all know about? Did you want this? <laughs> it's a cough drop, sorry. I just want to point out, Regis, that... Man was I am chewing, playing, swallowing, gurgling, you know. I am playing for children. Trying to talk to him, Norm. I am playing for children. You what? I'm playing for children. I know you are. That have nothing. I know. So if I don't know the answer... Yeah. ...and you don't give it to me... <laughs> Let it Play. be on your head. <laughs> Little guilt trip on me. How huh? will you sleep? <laughs> you're going for $16,000, my man, and seven questions away from a million, and all of your lifeline, you're in good shape. You got that cough drop back on you? Yeah. Okay, Sorry. Good. We're all set to go. Let's play. Here we go. $16,000, John. What phrase completes the 1990s Doritos slogan made famous by Jay Leno? Crunch all you want, you bought them. It's your right. We'll make more than buy another bag. <laughs> Doritos <laughs> slogan. I can see by those eyes yeah. that you're not familiar with this Doritos slogan. No, I'm not. So why would you ask me something that I don't know? <laughs> I'm playing for children. I know you're playing. <laughs> sleep well. How do it's, you sleep? It's, it's, not, it's, it's not we'll make less. Yeah. It's we'll make more. Well, that's too much of a clue, I guess. <laughs> Remember, that comes from Norm. <laughs> Factor that in. <laughs> or you can use a lifeline, or you can... I'll, I'll take, uh, I'll go with the... <clears throat> I didn't hear him, but I'll go for C. <laughs> and make that your... Final answer. There you go. And you're right for $16,000. Okay, going for the magic number now of $32,000, six away from a million. 
In the 1992 Quentin Tarantino film Reservoir Dogs, the main characters have code names that are what? Code names. <laughs> but are they for animals, colors, gems, coins? See this movie, John? No. Did you? <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, oh, really? Well, then which one is it? <laughs> Alex Trebek would know. <laughs> you bet he would. That was love. I'm kidding. That was love. Wait one second. Oh, my back. <laughs> Feel better now? Yeah. Good stretch? Um, no. <laughs> Leave me be, leave me be. <laughs> My back is tight. I know. Uh, I'm gonna uh, be. Just a random guess? Random. Yes. Would you want to make it your final answer? Yes. You're right. $32,000. Smarter well, than you thought. Yeah, yeah. Oh, new movie is out. Your new movie is out too, Little Nicky. Yeah, Little Nicky starring yeah, Adam sure. Sandler. Adam so Sandler plays really... son, son of the Devil. Yes. And who plays the Devil? Uh, Harvey Keitel, and his grandfather is a uh, Rodney Dangerfield. Really? And your? It's a very funny movie. And your character is? Peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Typecasting, huh? Yes. <laughs> I'm looking at you, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> and scaring me, too. He's going for 64,000. He's five away from a million now, and he's got three lifelines. Here it is, 64,000. Lake Powell, Lake Mead, Lake Havasu are reservoirs along rich, which river? Colorado River, Mississippi River, Columbia River, Allegheny River. Um, uh, I'll ask the uh, audience. You sure you want to waste a lifeline here? No, I'm not sure. No, I don't know. I think, well... Well, first of all, let, let's go over them. Is it, would it be the Allegheny River? Okay, would it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's, Col it's Colorado River. Final answer? If it's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't know until... Well, go backstage and ask the permission. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Colorado. Yes, he says it's his final answer, and he is right again. <laughs> See, it's important for you to keep your lifelines because yeah. the questions are going to get progressive. I don't know. Now, I really respect. You know, you're at home watching it, and you go, oh, it's that, that, that. Come on, and sure. I'm, I'm screaming at him. Yeah. Now I'm here, and it's. Here it is for $125,000, Mr. Lovitz. The melody for the wedding march, popularly called Here Comes the Bride, was written by what classical composer? Mozart, Strauss, Wagner, Handel. Strauss. You've never heard this song, have you? <laughs> You're still a bachelor, aren't you? What are you getting at? <laughs> I met a lady once. Uh, actually, I was uh, like 15, and she was a little older. You had a date with a... I don't remember. She was older. <laughs> but she was, uh, she was a very nice lady. But she... Uh, and then she left and married uh, huh? someone else. Was it a heartbreak for you? I was a little upset, yeah, sure. But you're happy with her. <laughs> Very good. I'm kidding. Yeah, and we talk about you all the time. <laughs> all right, here comes the bride, my friend. You know, I know. I just remember we're playing a game. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take uh, 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 the, the, uh, the audience. Audience. All right, audience. John needs your help. If you're ready, 
on your keypads using A, B, C, or D. Vote now. Well, a little bit spread out there, but um, Handel gets the vote here. Wagner came in second. This is what I get for attacking you. <laughs> you know, we can always narrow it down by two and see uh, how those choices hold up. What am I at? You're at, you're going for 125,000 right now. Oh, oh. So you. I'll take two 50 50s. <laughs> Take away two of those wrong answers for him, please, computer. Oh, Strauss or Wagner? Strauss. Who did you uh, like? Uh, I you thought Strauss. You thought Strauss? Still in the running here. God, I think it's Strauss. Uh, you know, that music repeating over and over. It really isn't helping. <laughs> it's designed to drive you nuts. Well, it's working. Yes. Listen to it. <laughs> you listen to it. <laughs> Strauss or Wagner? Oh, back to the game. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll, uh, it, I'll call, uh, I'll call uh, 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 Jerry Harry. You gonna call who? Jerry Harrington, of the Harringtons. Oh, of the Harringtons. Oh, that Jerry, yeah. We need Jerry Harrington of the Harringtons, AT&T. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Jerry. Yes. Regis Philbin here from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Well, we got John Lovett's here. He's squirming in the seat right now and needs your help. I'm sure he does. <laughs> He's going for $125,000 right now. He's going to read you the question and two, two possible answers, okay? Okay. All right, John, all yours, 30 seconds, and they start now. Jerry, the melody for the wedding march, Here Comes the Bride, was written by uh, what classical composer, Strauss or Wagner? Here Comes the Bride, written by Strauss or Wagner, first of all. And I don't think it was Wagner. I'm going to have to go with Strauss. Uh, Wagner was much too heavy. So who are you picking? I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick, pick Strauss, John. Strauss, all right. And I'll get you when I see you. Oh, and Jerry, goodbye. <laughs> Isn't it funny that when we first asked you this question, you thought it was Strauss, and now you've used all of your lifelines, <laughs> and you're back. You have returned. You have returned to Strauss. Welcome to my life. Yes. Well, what do you say now? Uh, Strauss. Final answer? Yes. You're not going to believe this. It's Wagner. It's, honest to God, Wagner. Everybody was wrong. Back to $32,000. Let it be on Jerry's head, too, OK? <laughs> oh, thanks, John. Thanks very much. John, is wrong and your phone friend is wrong this can be a very tough game anyway john did okay though now we still have five more celebrities so let's play tonight's first fastest finger question here it comes put these actors in the order of their birth starting with the earliest al pacino ben affleck wesley snipes kevin costner Okay, the time is up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest actor, and it was Al Pacino. Then Kevin Costner, then Wesley, and then Ben, and that's the right order. Who got it? The only one. Oh. 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 The only one who got it right. He's got a puppy. Puppy's gonna come back. We're gonna play for a million dollars. Right there. Yeah. 
Puffy is uh, playing for uh, his charity, Daddy's House Social Programs. Tell yes. me about that one. Um, Daddy's House Social Programs is a charity that I started like six years ago. Um, it helps underprivileged children in the tri-state area. Um, we have such things as computer camps to um, kind of close the gap on the digital divide, especially mm -hmm. with the kids in the inner city school system. It's a great idea. We have um, boys and girls clubs. We have summer camps. We have, um, we give away, we, we feed the homeless and unfortunate, I mean, underprivileged during Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. We just, and we just gave away 100 computers to um, PS5 in New York City. That's right, I read about yeah. that. Nice job, Puffy, thank you. All right, Daddy's House Social Programs, yeah. good. Hey, Norm, Puffy's ah. in the seat now. I know, okay. man. Just want I... you to know what's going on, okay. <laughs> All right. Puffy, why don't we play, okay? Let's see Let's what happens. Started. You know about the rules, you know about the lifelines, 50-50, as the audience phone a friend. So if you're ready, let's do it, let's play. Who wants to be a billionaire? Here we go. For $100, actors who appear in the background of a movie scene are called what? Pages, associates, extras, and frequently. <laughs> see, extras. Final? Yes. Final answer? Yes, final answer is the right answer. Excellent. $100. You're terrible. I can't, I can't believe I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I'm really here. Yeah. Buffy <laughs> going for $200. Seat. Yeah. Well, what term is often used to describe an overused book that has folded or creased pages? Ponytail, dog eared, cat pawed, pig headed. Um, B, dog ear. <laughs> dog ear, final. Final answer, yes. Final answer, yes. Take it. For $300, by definition, a person who is bilingual can do which of the following? Speak two languages, write with either hand, pilot a plane, rule the world. <laughs> hey, speak two languages. Yes, it is. Bilingual, speak two languages. He's up to $500. What do the letters SWF typically stand for in a newspaper personal ad? Single white female? Sweet, wistful friend? Send with facts? Seeking women friends? With a movie. A. A. Single white female. Right on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> final answer? Final yes, answer. Yes, that's his final answer. He got it for $500. I'm John. not really looking in that section of the newspaper. I know. <laughs> Some guys don't have to look at that section. Uh, right, John Lovitz? <laughs> you tell me. Okay. He's up to $1,000. Here we go. All 50 states have passed what kind of legislation to protect car buyers from defective vehicles? Crate code, bucket of bolts bill, jalopy justice, <laughs> lemon law. D, lemon law. Got it for $1,000. Lemon Law, it is, passed back in 1993. Okay, don't find, don't find here, Puffy. Going for $2,000, and here it comes. What TV sitcom's theme song is titled, I'll Be There For You? Will and Grace, Friends, Frasier, Malcolm in the Middle. I'll be there for you. Just call. Watch TV, which letter is it? <laughs> uh, no, don't give, don't, don't give up. No, no, no. Um, let me try to figure this out myself. Um, I would have to guess on this one. I think I will go with B, friends. Oh. Now, all right, you, you want to make that? You're fine, because you got three lifelines if you really are not. <laughs> yeah, that's my final answer. Yeah, got it for $2,000. Here it comes for $4,000. What former pro boxer currently sells his lean, mean, fat-reducing grilling machine you know you know that one. on TV? <laughs> Is it Sugar Ray Leonard, Joe Frazier, George Foreman, 
Michael Spinks. C. George Foreman. Final? Yes. Yeah, big George Foreman. Well done. Well done, Michelle. Up to $8,000. What is the main food source of the giant panda? Bamboo? Eucalyptus? Sap? Fish? What does that panda eat? Smells good. It smells good. You put it in lotion. Um, you know, put it in lotion. Okay. okay. <laughs> Donate? Fine. <laughs> you know. I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, yeah. Um, B. No, it's not. A. 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 Oh, oh, no, don't listen A. to me. Don't listen to me. B is not my final answer. Okay. okay. I, uh, I didn't even ask. What's the main food source? Bamboo, sauce? eucalyptus, Giant sap, panda. or fish? Yeah, you changed your mind. I don't know. A. A. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my final answer. Final, yeah, he got it, bamboo. Take a break, let me get back. Puffy's going for $16,000. Puff Daddy. John Puffy Combs in the hot seat right now, going for $16,000. Now, behind you is John Lovitz, sitting there with his pal, Miko Brando. So, what do you think now that you've been through the experience? What advice can you offer Puffy? Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he he wasn't like you. He, he's receiving no uh, no help up here. Yeah, none. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Puffy. Let's talk about what's going on in your life now. You know, you've you've got the charities going. You've yes. got your uh, professional uh, business going as well. Uh, but you're in everything, right? You've got your your I'm wardrobe. Things, yeah. I have a clothing line. It's called Sean John. Uh huh. Um, and it's, it's it's doing fairly well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what right, about nice. musically? What are you doing there? Musically, I'm doing a lot of producing right now. Just mm -hmm. producing acts on my label, producing some outside. You like producing, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. I yeah. Like Can you uh, make me into a, sort of a white rap boy or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you could do with me. I mean, we'll talk about it if I win a million dollars. Okay. It's, it's all negotiable. <laughs> Smart. All right, you're seven away from that million dollars. $16,000, let's play. Here we go. Okay, go. Here it is. All right, here you go, Puff. What announcement was usually made at the end of an Elvis Presley concert? Good night and good luck. God bless America. Elvis wishes you well. Elvis has left the building. D, Elvis has left the building. Final answer? Yes. That's what they said after an Elvis concert. Elvis has left the building. 32,000 right now. What is the largest Hawaiian island by area? Hawaii, Maui, Kauai, Oahu. By area. A. Final? Yes. <laughs> it is his final answer. <laughs> Should it be? <laughs> <laughs> You're reminding me of Lovitz now. We were well, sitting next to each other for so long, I think we picked up each other's Yeah, choice. probably. Geniuses think alike. <laughs> yeah, A, Hawaii. Final answer. Yes. Yes, at $32,000. <laughs> it's more than twice the size of all the other islands combined. All right, going for 64000 right now, Puffy. Here it is. On her Fox TV series, what did Tracy Ullman say at the end of each episode? Drive safely, stay sweet, go home. You're the best. I want to go to the audience. Why don't we do that? Audience, Puffy needs your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 77% say go home. All right, with that. C, go home. Want to go with the audience? Final answer, Puffy? Yes. Yeah, he says final answer. You got it. Thank you, audience. All right.
Yeah, Bobby, you won 64,000, but should you miss, you'll go back to 32,000 like somebody we know. <laughs> but uh, you're going for 125,000, and here it is. What fashion guru popularized the miniskirt in the 1960s? Rudy Gernrich, Mary Quant, Karl Lagerfeld, Betsy Johnson. These are your fellow fashion designers. We do 50-50. 50-50. Computer, would you take away two of those wrong answers? Rudy Gernreich, Mary Quant. I'll go with B, Mary Quant. Final answer? Yes. You nailed it for hundred. We'll take a break. We'll come back. He's going for a quarter million. John Puffy Combs is doing very well now. Still has a lifeline and is going for a quarter million dollars and playing for Daddy's House Social Programs. That's his own foundation. Met your children the other day. Yes. Great kids, huh? Yes. And the seven-year-old, I guess, watches the show. Yeah, um, I have a six-year-old, that's Justin. Justin. And I have a nine-year-old, that's Quincy, and stepson. Uh -huh. And I have a two-year-old, Christian. He's, he's a cute little guy, yeah, isn't they, he? They all, they all watched the show, so hopefully they're rooting for me right now. What What's do you, up, y'all? What do you call that little guy? Mini-me. Mini-me, yeah. Like <laughs> And you're also involved uh, with the web, too, right? Yeah, I have this new internet company, Hook.com. So anybody out there in the middle of America that wants to know anything about hip-hop, you log on to Hooked.com mm -hmm. and tell you everything you want to know. You've always been sort of an entrepreneur, haven't you? Yes, yes. Yeah. Ever since you were a little boy here from, in New York from, with the, yeah, from with paper, the paper route. route. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had one of those, too. All right, Puffy, $250,000. Now, we're getting into yeah. serious money here. Serious. You still have one lifeline. You can call somebody. You're three away from a million. Let's get back to it. Let's play. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Who was the third person to walk on the moon? Buzz Aldrin, Wally Shira, Pete Conrad, Michael Collins. I'm going to my phone, a friend. Yeah. Who do you want to call? Kenny. Kenny? Who's Kenny? It's a good friend of mine. All right, fine. We'll get Kenny on the line, AT and T, and see if he can help us. Hello, Kenny? Yes. Yeah, hi, Regis Philbin here from uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hey, Regis, how you doing? Good. We got Puffy here. He's going for a quarter million dollars. Oh, huh, pretty good. Yeah, serious money. He needs your help, all right? Okay. He's going to come on and read the question of the four possible answers. All right. All right, Puffy, it's all yours starting right now. Who, Kenny, who was the third person to walk on the moon? Buzz Aldrin, Wally Shira, Pete Conrad, or Michael Collins? I would say A. I'm not 100% sure. No, Armstrong was the first, and he's not on the list. I'm pretty sure it's A. Okay, what about Wally Sharon, Pete Conrad, and Michael Collins? I don't think it's them, Puff. I don't think it's them. I would go with A. Well, and now, Puffy, just so that you know, you got 125,000 right now. You can walk away with that. If you miss, you lose 93,000, go back to 32. If you win, you stay in the game, and you got a quarter minute. I'm not going to take the chance with the money for the game. You don't believe in Kenny, huh? No, nah, I believe in him, but, you know, if he said he wasn't 100% sure, then I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Well, we, I, everybody understands that? Hold on, hold on. That's not my final answer. Though. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't want to... I want to make sure that the kids get as much money as they can, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe with the 125,000. All right, let's All take right. it. Smart. Right. And um, the correct... No, 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 I, can I guess? Sure, go ahead, Dave. I would've said Wally Shira. No, it was Pete Conrad. It was Pete Conrad, oh. yeah. You did the right thing, Puffy. 
Here it is, Fadani's house. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, 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 Thank Yes, Buzz Aldrin was the second man on the moon, but Puffy proves what a good businessman he is. He certainly knows when to walk away. All right, we're left now. The days dwindle down to a precious few. Everybody ready here? Ready. Now we take a look at the next fastest finger question. Here it is. Put these singers in order by the year of their birth, starting with the earliest. Jennifer Lopez, Prince, Cisco, Paul Simon. Yeah, I can't wait to see this. Hi. Time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest, Paul Simon, and then Prince. Hey, Jennifer Lopez, finally, Cisco, that's the right order. Who got it? Seat right now makes a home in Los Angeles. Well, finally, huh? Finally, Regis. you're here. I am here. You left the others in the dust. Uh, the others. <laughs> you got my back. Yeah, I got your back. All right. Vivica, <laughs> and of course, our man right over there. Um, I think I have two people supporting me uh, that will feed me answers. Norm doesn't say anything. Do you? I got your back. Oh, you do. <laughs> No, I'm just happy to be here. Yes. <laughs> Tyra, into her film career, now as a recurring role on Felicity, huh? Yes. Which is something you wanted to, to do. Yes, I've loved acting. Actually, we did Mad TV together. That's right, yeah. yeah. Now, you told me then you were going to start your career. Exactly, and I love comedy. And um, Felicity, my character, she's very light and funny. She's a dancer, and I'm a, I play a co uh, college junior. That's terrific. Yeah. And you've also got a lot of film credits as well, and you're accompanied by your mom today, Carolyn Hi, mom. London. Hi. How are you doing, Carolyn? Fine, thank you. You nervous, Mom? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Carolyn, who's that guy sitting next to you? Isn't he marvelous? Doesn't he look familiar? <laughs> I gonna... finally found my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're a lucky man. All right, Tyra, let's go to work, okay? You know the rules, you know about the lifelines. 50-50, yes. ask the audience, vote a friend. So if you're ready, Tyra Banks, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We begin with the $100 question, Tyra. During a performance, what does a magician typically pull out of his hat? A rabbit, a snail, a lizard, a toupee. <laughs> it's so funny how you're up here and you like think everyone's so dumb and then you get up there and you're like, eh. <laughs> um, A, a rabbit. Sure, it's a rabbit. You got it right for $100. <laughs> 200 The phrase, nice set of wheels typically refers to which of the following? <laughs> Stroller, a car, roulette table, bobsled. Be a car. Car, the right answer. 300. What is the common term for a person who agrees with everything his superior says? A yes man, a fair weather friend, whipping boy, Waylon Smithers. A, a yes man. Yes, man, the guy who agrees with everything his boss says. He's up to $500. According to the deodorant advertising slogan, secret is strong enough for a man, but made for whom? An athlete, a girl, a woman, a wolverine. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a C, a woman. And she's right again for $500. Tyra Banks up to $1,000. What Broadway musical about an orphan features the song Tomorrow? Oliver, Miss Saigon, Sweet Charity, Annie. Annie. Annie, the right answer for $1,000. You got it. Uh, no. Oh, yes, Tyra, that sound means we're out of time for tomorrow. Oh, yes, you'll roll. be back here tomorrow. Oh, okay. And we'll be looking forward to it. And joining her will be, oh, yeah, the final three. Joy Behar, Vivica A. Fox, and Norm McDonald. Well, another classic hour of television calls to a close. 
Thanks, everybody. Coming up next, our good friend Drew Carey on a brand new episode of The Drew Carey Show. We'll be back with Tyra, Vivica, Norm, and Joy tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central. From New York, everybody, good night.